good morning again. It's 8.35, Wednesday, January 13th, 2016. Uh, and we're waiting momentarily for the guys to come and put a coat of epoxy on the new floor in the garage. So, we've been doing a few little catch up things, details things. Since we saw you last, as you know, we got a final inspection on the building. You'll see there's a couple of lights on the outside. Even though it's not painted, we need some light out here when we have visitors at night. So we put some lights up, we'll remove them when we do the painting. But anyway, it gives us a nice, uh, some illumination at night when uh, people show up. Patch some stucco here that that uh, had like exposed raw, you know, nasty edges around the new concrete work and some holes that were up here where wires used to go in and out of the wall. Base of the wall there. When we redid the asphalt and lowered the level of the asphalt, some of the stucco, the bottom edge of the stucco was exposed, so that all got kind of tidied up. Yeah, anyway, guys are coming, probably on their way as we speak, to do this floor. We'll be here today. They're going to scuff it, they tell me. use some kind of a uh, device that has diamond dust or some kind, you know, and they scuff it. So it gives it a nice surface for the uh, coating to adhere to. They put one coat on today, come back tomorrow and put a top coat on. And then I think they said it takes two days to cure and you can actually park on it. So you notice it's all empty. I haven't put anything in here. I've been waiting for like two weeks for this operation to happen. And then I got an air compressor to go back there in that corner. I got to put a couple more outlets for that. And we'll start equipping it. So I'll show you some of the activity when the guys get here and start doing this finish. See you later, bye. Over here. And as you can see, there's stuff in the floor. I'll get you a bit closer. and I um, missed them actually doing the application of the finish but they're gonna be back tomorrow to do a second coat so I'll try and catch them doing it then anyway they got the first coat on they've been gone here now they got here at 830 I think they were gone by 11 scuffed it vacuumed it and put the finish on the first coat of finish on I think there's the grits in this finish too uh, so anyway, they're going to be back tomorrow morning and screen it, which again gives it a little bit, roughens it up just a touch so the two coats stick together well. And they'll put another coat on, the final coat, top coat. The colors are going to be slightly different, just a little bit lighter than this, they tell me. So anyway, um, I'm really happy with it so far. There you go. See you later. Bye. Hello there. Well, let's take a look at the um, finished coat on this floor. Oh, I don't know. This is the final color. It's a little bit lighter than the first coat was. I mean, 
They don't, they're not particular with the color on the first coat. They're, they're just trying to get the coating done. You notice you can still see the cut lines. These are stress relief. Theoretically, everybody hopes it'll crack on those lines so that you won't see the cracks. There's one line here that came out the way I want them to look. You can see here, it's filled. Got a little bubble there. And I don't know what's the cause of that bubble. We'll see more of that later, but it, it's almost filled. These cuts are about an inch deep, I think. So see here what happened on some of these others? It did all this bubble here. I guess you get too much material in there and it can't off gas, so it makes these blisters. It must make a skin on the surface while the gas is still trying to get out from the curing process. So it makes these bubbles. Look at this one. Anyway, they're coming back Monday. Today is Friday. They're coming back Monday to do something about this. What I'm looking for, what I want them to to accomplish, to finish with. I want these cuts to look like a grout joint, like a tile grout joint. They're about an eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch wide. And I want them to look like a tile grout joint when it's finished so that they don't start gathering up all kinds of debris and little screws and whatever else might fall on the floor. All along in this process, whenever these cuts were talked about and this floor was talked about, I was uh, led to believe this coating was going to bridge the, the cut, bridge the gap there. In other words, fill that up essentially so that debris wouldn't go in there. And this is what I ended up with. So they're coming back Monday and deal with all the bubbles and... make sure that these cuts are filled when it's finished. I don't know what that is. That's interesting. There's a line there. Hmm. I have to show them that too. And there's a couple more here. Look like roller marks. Not even. Finish isn't even. Guys that came here yesterday were a different crew than the guys that came here the first day. I understand Monday, after I sent them pictures of how this turned out, they're sending the original crew back Monday. So let's see how it turns out. I'll show you that later. Hopefully we'll have a nice floor when it's done. It cost enough, it better be nice. Anyway, bye.